Hello. So today we are going to be learning about the Coriolis effect. And to do this lab, we are going to need a balloon and a Sharpie or some kind of marker to draw on the balloon. And to start, what we're going to do is to fill this balloon with air. So you're going to choose between you and your partner, which person is going to fill the balloon with air. So go ahead and do that now. Now that we have our balloon filled with air, um, we are going to start off by writing on the, on the top of it, A-N. What does that stand for? That stands for North Pole. So this is gonna be our North Pole. Then what we're going to do after that is we are going to flip it upside down and where the little tail is on the balloon, we're going to write an S and that stands for South Pole. So, S for South Pole. Then what we're gonna do is eat, one of your partners is going to hold your balloon and rotate it while you draw the equator. So now that you have your partner holding your balloon, they're gonna spin it. They're gonna draw the equator. Oh, perfect, stop. Okay, beautiful. Now what you're going to do is you're going to have your partner twist it counterclockwise. So if your partner is on your left, they're going to be turning it towards themselves. And you are going to start at the North Pole with your, with your Sharpie or marker, and you are going to try to draw a straight line down. Okay, so go ahead and go and try that. So right now I'm going to draw my straight line while it's going, and I'm going to look at you guys. Okay, and what do we see? It tried to travel in a straight line. Everything wants to travel in a straight line, but it can't because the earth is always rotating. So we're going to go ahead and put an arrow right here because it's trying to go straight, but it can't because the earth is rotating. Then what you're going to do is have your partner continue twisting it the same way. And you're going to start at the South Pole and you're going to try to draw a straight line. And it's going to end up curving again. What a surprise. And you're going to draw an arrow. And they're both coming towards the equator from opposite ends. This is because the earth is always rotating, right? So with what you've already done with your little earth balloon, um, I would like you to go ahead and answer your critical thinking questions that I pass out at the beginning of class. Thanks a lot.